ACL rupture is one of the most common knee injuries. In the U.S. alone, between 1 and 200,000 such injuries are reported each year. Among the fastest trending forms of treatment is the use of quadriceps tendon autograft for ACL reconstruction. This growing popularity, however, makes it crucial that surgeons read the medical literature critically and separate the hope from the hype. To help clinicians do just that, researchers evaluated a selection of meta-analyses and systematic reviews regarding the treatment of ACL injuries with quadriceps tendon autograft. Their goal was to review papers discussing nine of the most severe types of spin commonly found in scientific abstracts, as outlined in a 2016 paper by Amelie Yavshitz and co-workers. These types of spin include extrapolating findings beyond the appropriate context, claiming benefits for an intervention despite a reporting bias, and selectively reporting or overemphasizing such benefits. Among the 13 papers that met the selection criteria, more than half featured at least one form of spin, with two containing two forms of spin, but no paper containing three or more forms of spin. Of the types of spin evaluated, the most common was the selective reporting or overemphasis of treatment benefits. The ability to analyze research and identify forms of bias is crucial for both authors and reviewers. Spinning results, which researchers may often do without knowing, affects how physicians interpret their findings and deliver care to patients. For their part, the researchers behind the current study highlight the limitations of their own research. Despite finding nearly 1,000 papers on the use of quadriceps tendon autograft in their preliminary search, only 13 met their strict inclusion criteria rendering their study underpowered in determining the definitive link between spin and study characteristics. Accordingly, their findings cannot be extrapolated to other areas of orthopedic surgery or to any timeframes beyond the one bounded by the 13 studies they evaluated. The main takeaway, then, is twofold. Orthopedic surgeons should be aware of the forms of spin that exist in the literature, and efforts should be dedicated to reducing the prevalence of spin in the orthopedic literature.